My name is Elaine McLean. I am 90 years old. I will be 91 on April the 20th. Um, a lot of years. <laughs> My favorite fad. Um, high heels. I like high heels. <laughs> I think they look very sexy and feminine, <laughs> and every lady likes that. <laughs> I have lots of shoes, all high heels, and I don't know what to do with them. I'm trying to find one of my granddaughters that they'll fit, but um, right now I'm wearing the gunboats old grannies wear. I was born on the east side of Detroit, um, and I was raised on the east side of Detroit. I was married uh, in 1946 to Jack McLean. I had four children, three boys and a girl. Uh, they're all living except I have one deceased son. Um, and I have eight grandchildren. Our life has basically been nature and, um, you know, the outdoors. And uh, I myself have done a lot of traveling. And if these old legs would take me, I would be going still. <laughs> I didn't find a place I didn't like um, because the people, it was different and I loved trying their different foods. When I went to Australia, I ate bugs with the Aborigines. Um, they tasted like popcorn. <laughs> so, I mean, and it was the experiences were just so wonderful. It, it, it's memories, they're memories. I remember that I was ironing here, we lived here, I was ironing in the basement when watching television when Kennedy was shot. President I did see Paul that on TV, um, which was like a shock Central. to me. I didn't, I didn't, um, the the I, I just didn't think then that could happen. Shots rang out. And then another, um, thing was while I was working, we had a television in our, in our front office, and I did see the towers being hit on 9-11. So I think that historically, those things have really impacted my memories. My married life was a very happy one. Um, I was married for 25 years. <laughs> it doesn't sound happy because I did get divorced. But um, I did go to work again at uh, Consumer Power and uh, worked there for 32 years. I did retire in 87, but I also had an ill mother who lived in Florida. After two years, I had to put her in a nursing home because I couldn't lift her anymore. And uh, I went back to work part-time and I retired at 89. But, but keeping busy, I keep busy. Uh, I taught ceramics for 35 years along with working. Um, love crafts. Um, yes, I love painting. I love, um, I love colors. The brighter, the better. I did the face of Christ with the crown of thorns, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, I still have that. Um, so there are, you know, a few pieces that I have really enjoyed making. You know, I really don't know. <laughs> Good genes, for one thing. Um, my mother died at 92, my dad at 89. My grandparents were in their late 80s uh, on my mother's side. Um, Losing my sight is a very traumatic thing for me. I'm battling that. You do what you have to do, and it is what it is. Well, first of all, I thought by the time I was 70 that I would never be here. Uh, this, is a, this is a complete shock to me. I'm almost 91 in a couple of months. Um, the head doesn't feel like it's 91. It's, it's back in the high heel days. But the body is given out. Um, I really have more to be thankful for than I have to gripe about. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You've got to think positive. Um, in fact, all the things that I have wrong with me, 
uh, all of the doctors say that I'm doing so well because of my attitude, my positive attitude. Um, but I feel you're going to die from something. So, you know, let it be. Don't worry about it. Go on and have a good time. <laughs>